Good morning. Today we are going to be working with adding and subtracting mixed numbers. I'm going to walk you through here and show you a couple things that you're going to have to do to add and subtract mixed numbers, work you through a couple strategies and a couple different kinds of problems that may be difficult to work with. So I'm going to run you through a simple one first. So this is your mixed number and this is an addition problem. So if you look at it, we're going to be adding mixed numbers that have the same denominators. So one of the first things I like to do when I'm doing these problems, is I just go ahead and bring my denominator down just because you're not going to be changing it. You're not going to be finding an equivalent or anything like that. You're just going to be working with that denominator. So once I have the denominator down, I actually start by adding the fractions first. And I'm going to get into why I do that here in a minute. So I'm going to look at my two numerators. I have a 1 and a 1. I'm going to add that together. I get a 2. I record it. And then once I've done that, I'm going to move over and do my whole numbers. So I have 3 plus 4. That's 7. So that problem would be 7 and 2 thirds. Now, the reason why I want to still work from right to left, just like I would with a normal addition problem, is because of problems like this. So again, I'm going to put down my denominator first. So my denominator on this problem is an 8. I'm going to go ahead and record it. And then I'm going to look at my numerators. I have 3 and 5. I'm going to go ahead and add them. So I have 3 plus 5, and that's 8. Now, before I move on to my whole numbers, I'm looking at this, and I see that I have 8 eighths, which is really equal to 1 whole. So this is just like in a regular addition problem where you're adding whole numbers. When you have a, a whole, in this case with fractions, you're going to carry. So I'm going to put my 1 up top, and really what this problem becomes now is 1 plus 5 plus 4, and that's 10. Okay, And that's the correct way to write it. If you put down 9 and 8 eighths, um, it's, it's not quite right. So um, you want to carry your problem over and, and make sure that you put your whole number up and then add up just your whole numbers. So, and that's really about the trickiest thing that you run into with addition. Now, subtraction can be a little bit harder. So when we look at subtraction problems, we wanna do the same thing. We're working our problem from right to left. We're starting with the fractions, working our way to the whole numbers. So again, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna put my denominator down, and then I'm gonna look at the first number. I got three minus two is 1, so I have 1 tenth. Now I'm going to do my, my whole number. So I have 6 minus 4 is 2. So I have 2 and 1 tenth. That's my answer. Now that's a pretty straightforward um, and simple subtraction problem with mixed numbers. Now I'm going to show you one that's a little bit harder. So as I move over and sh show you my next problem, I'm going to go ahead once again. I'm working right to left, and I'm going to put down my denominator is the 8. Now, here's where it gets tricky. If you notice up here, I have 3 and a 5, and I'm subtracting. And say to yourself, okay, you can't take away 3 from 5. So just like normal subtraction, you have to borrow when you can't subtract. So since I can't subtract the 3, what I can do is I can borrow from the 7, make it a 6, and then this 3... I'm adding one whole to it. So in this case, since I have eights, one whole would be eight pieces. So since I had a three here and I'm adding eight, I now have an 11. So this problem now becomes six and 11 eights minus five and five eights. And it looks a little bit weird when you're sitting there and you're looking at it on paper or in this case on, on a whiteboard. But when you get your answer, it, it will look normal. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take 11 minus 5, put down my 6, and then I'm going to go 6 minus 5 and get my whole number of 1. So that's really about the, the trickiest problem that, that you'll run into, the trickiest type of problem to run into. And just remember that you have to borrow from the whole number, take the denominator, add up the denominator onto the numerator, and then go ahead, subtract, and work it out.